Um, hello, what's up, everybody? I'm back, and I'm here with a story time. This is my first story time. <laughs> I know, right? Um, I'm like super freaking hype right now, but um, yeah, I'm excited to tell y'all this story because I always mention this on Twitter. Like, I poke fun at it a lot, and um, I don't know. Everyone always asks me about it, and I just never really told y'all anything, so... I'm gonna spill the tea today, all right? Um, a little disclaimer, I literally don't know exactly what happened, like it could have been anything, but I just think it's funny that I had to go through this. Um, so yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna uh, put any like names or dates or anything out there because I'm not trying to like let y'all figure out who this person was and I thought y'all would give a fuck. But, uh, regardless, I don't want anyone coming at me. I'm just gonna jump right into it, basically, to the day that I found, um, on his phone. <laughs> and it was just kind of like a, ugh, I don't know, let me, let's just let's get started, okay? Just bear with me. Alright, so I'm gonna name him Kevin. Right, Kevin went on a trip with his dad. They went out of town for three days, two nights, they were gone father and son doing their thing cool so um the whole time I felt like very ignored and I I'm 100% sure that I was being ignored but I just never really communicate things and I wasn't really allowed to communicate things in that relationship we were pretty toxic but we didn't know that I don't think I think it took a little bit longer for me to realize what kind of relationship I was in but that's another topic I was feeling pretty upset when he came back because um I just felt ignored and I missed my boyfriend and I don't know I was I'm, I'm a brat okay uh so he gets in the car and I kind of like felt like his vibes were off but I, I also didn't know if it was like me like projecting my feelings onto him i don't know um i just i'm very big on energy and i just didn't feel right i just felt weird and i don't know why but my body knew something was up you know your body always knows my gut was never wrong with this guy every single time i had one suspicion i had one gut feeling one dream if i had anything that would be type of like intuitive it was always fucking true and i'm telling you like sometimes my intuition like my dreams especially were so vivid and so detailed crazy shit that's another story <laughs> why do i keep going out of it anyway so i just felt like the vibes were off and uh i don't know why when we get home, he takes a picture of me and it's kind of a funny picture and we laughed about it. So that same day we went to go see his parents and um, somehow the picture came up and we showed it to his mom and we laughed about it again. And when we we're about to get home from his parents' house to my apartment that I paid rent in by myself, he uh, gets a message from his mom and he's like, can you read this for me? Cool. I got you, boo. She's like, hey, can you send me that picture of Janelle? Cool. I can do that. So I go to the, I reply and I go to like to the picture so I get to like the picture. And it opens up his whole like library, obviously. And the first thing I noticed was like a Snapchat icon thingy, you know, like the little ghost icon. And it says like your username at the bottom like when you send it to someone to add you or something like that. And like the username just seemed very sketchy. It was definitely a girl because you could see like the emoji that they had, but that's not it. That's not all I found, girl. I wish that would have been it, but it wasn't. That's not all I found. I found not one, not two, but three three different pictures of the same <laughs> and I was like what is this doing in here 
hello <laughs> what before i even asked about it i was like i gotta figure out if he added this person on snapchat and i don't know who it is so i quickly go to his snapchat and i look up the username and it's not there so i go to his block list because girl you gotta find that shit somewhere and there it was my intuition was never wrong i found that shit and i was like he yeah, added this person like because you know if you click on the username and like it tells you all the details of like you've been friends for this long and like you're whatever he added this person while he was gone and he deleted the person when he came back. Ooh, that's interesting. Hmm. Why are these pictures in here? So now that I confirm that the Snapchat is linked to him for whatever reason that I don't know, um, I asked them, hey, um, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? So mind you, we're like literally trying to find parking outside my apartment. He straight up tells me, I don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it? You don't, you, you don't want to talk about it? I don't want to talk about it. Why is there on your phone? Like, why? I don't understand. He said he didn't want to talk about it. So, um, we went upstairs and I was crying. Obviously, I was crying. <laughs> Girl, I don't even know what to think. Uh, I was crying and I went upstairs and um, we we're on our way home because he wanted to go out with his friends. And so he takes me upstairs and I'm thinking we're going to talk about this. Like, I'm thinking like we're going to get to the bottom of this. What the fuck? No. He takes me upstairs. He unlocks the door for me. And he asked me for the key card to get into my apartment. He said, I'll be right back. Okay, cool. So whatever. He left. He doesn't come back till like six in the morning. At this time, for whatever reason, his phone wasn't working. It would only work on Wi-Fi. And I didn't have Wi-Fi in my apartment, but I would let him use my hotspot on my phone. So since he was gone, it was off. It was enough. He gets home and I locked both locks in the door, bitch. You leave, you're not coming back. Like you're not coming back. I'm sorry, but like that's, that's that. So I locked both doors and I was up when he came back. I was like awake eating crackers on my bed. And he's knocking on the door and he's like knocking and knocking and knocking. And I know he's trying to text me, but he cannot text me. <laughs> so I'm just texting my best friend and I'm like, bro, you will not believe this shit. And I told her the tea. <sighs> She's like, leave his ass outside. I didn't, I felt bad. I left them outside for like an hour, maybe two. And then I woke up, I was like, oh, what do you want? He was like a persistent knocking, so I mean, so I let him in. I didn't say a word to him. I kept eating my crackers and I just, I don't know. It was a weak ass bitch. My dog is digging on the carpet. Are you done? Uh, I guess he knew he was guilty of something and that I did not want him anywhere near me Because I remember he fell asleep on the table like he didn't even come to like bed or anything He like sat on that table and he just like Went to bed there next day comes around. I wake up Minding my own business. I'm not talking to him And he wakes up. He literally woke up grabbed his keys and left and then he texts me like hours later that he's drunk and he's just like, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm so embarrassed. And I'm like, he's like, I just want to talk things out. And I'm like, but you left, you know, you left. <laughs> and you say you don't want to talk about it. 
So I feel like he was trying to buy himself some time to think about it a lot. I don't know. I was a crazy bitch. Whatever. I told him, get your ass over here and tell me what the fuck is going on. Girl, I asked so many questions and I didn't get no answers. And my ass still forgave him. But basically, like, he told me he was bored, like, he didn't mean any harm by it, and that he got these pictures off the internet so that he could send those to Snapchat person, and that way he wouldn't feel so bad because it wasn't him, it was someone else, so it wasn't like he, it, like, he was really cheating, it was because it wasn't him in the picture. Girl, I don't even know. I was like, for real? I don't know, like, man, I would get over anything. Like, it was insane. Somehow I managed to get over that. <laughs> like, to the point where, like, now I think about it and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I was so stupid, but I mean, it's funny because I was so stupid. Um, I don't think it's funny, like, that it happened to me because it fucked me up for a little bit. I was like, oh, oh whoa, whoa, what the, whoa. <sighs> but for whatever reason it was, it no longer concerns me because that, Part of my life is done and over with and basically that was the story i don't even know if there's like i'm like a good part to this i guess after like you know an hour or so of just crying and like trying to understand the situation without any context um i kind of just decided to stop talking about it and uh, stop asking questions because I wasn't getting anywhere. I wasn't getting any answers Truth fucking hurts and I wasn't trying to hurt anymore. I was just trying to love <laughs> And so I did get over it. We still were together for a few months after that And it's just you know shit happens. That definitely was not the worst thing he did to me <laughs> But it's definitely one of the funniest things that I had to put up with That's the story. That's the gag um that's the tea. I hope you guys enjoyed my story. Really, there's nothing you can take away from this. If you have a gut feeling, girl, you're not crazy. You're never crazy. Like, you're right. You might not know how yet, but you're right. Just trust your intuition, I guess, is the moral of my story today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, by the way, I am burning incense right now, so if you see smoke, it's incense, it's not a ghost. Don't tell me there's a ghost in my house because that's fucking scary. Um, but yeah, have you guys noticed that incense follows you or is that just me? Because I swear when I burn incense, no matter where I go in the room, like it's it always like flows towards me and I've tried it. I've moved around the room before and it always comes to me. So if I'm not the only one that happens to, and it happens to you, let me know because that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'll see y'all again Sunday because I'm going to try to put another video on Sunday. So stay tuned. Bye.